will be sending a message to the oil producing countries that they're not going to keep us over a $100, $107 barrel of oil. It's time that we stood up and said, we are tired of being taken advantage of. I got to tell you, as your president, you will not see me holding hands with the Saudis. I will be holding when they get sick. How many more people do we have to know or meet who get denied when they are told they need an operation or a treatment by their doctor and the insurance company says no? You know, in America, under our Constitution, it is illegal to discriminate against people on the basis of race or gender or religion or ethnic origin, but insurance companies can discriminate against you if you're sick. We're going to end that. They should not be making life and death decisions. I know. I know we can do this. Because if we fail to do it, we'll have millions more who are uninsured and millions more who are underinsured. What good does it do to have an insurance policy if it won't pay for what you need? So many people pay their premiums and then get cut off. I met a man not so long ago who had been diagnosed with prostate cancer in August, and in September the insurance company dropped him. I met a woman last night in Old Forge who has two diabetic children. She can't get insurance for them for their diabetes. So she's basically just struggling every day to make ends meet and take care of her two children. That's wrong in America. And it's time we said, we're smart enough. We can figure this out. Here's what I would do. Open up the congressional plan. Congress has a good 